even as travelers are starting to lower their masks in some modes of public transportation. We can breathe. <laughs> yep. The Justice Department is appealing the ruling by a federal judge who found the mandate exceeded the CDC's authority. Just hours before DOJ filed, the White House said any appeal would be about preserving the CDC's ability to respond to health crises. We expect there to be ups and downs in the pandemic, and we certainly want the CDC to continue to have this authority. Public health experts say that authority is critical to keeping the public safe. When we underpower public health decision making, we put ourselves at risk, um, our families, our communities at risk in the long term. But the DOJ's move follows days of confusion for passengers nationwide, as the TSA and most local transit systems made masks optional. One minute wear them, one minute don't wear them. So, hey, I'm keeping mine on. Complicating things, some local jurisdictions have their own rules, like Philadelphia, San Francisco, and New York, where masks are still required in some but not all settings. In Amtrak, you don't have to wear a mask, but you have to wear a mask on the bus, the MTA, you got to wear a mask. What's going on? I mean, what is it? Do you wear one or you don't wear one? While average daily COVID deaths have been trending down since a spike in February, we are still losing nearly 400 people a day. That's why some travelers say they'll keep masking up. Girja Mahajan in North Carolina says it's frustrating for parents like her with kids under five who can't yet get vaccinated. We can continue to mask, but it also makes us very nervous to travel with individuals who may not be vaccinated and who are additionally not required to wear a mask. For now, in most places, the decision to mask up is up to each individual passenger. Yeah, I'm comfortable with that one, so I choose not to wear one, but it's completely up to you as you want to move forward. All right, so what if you have booked a flight for the next few weeks or into the summer, assuming the mask mandate was going to remain in effect? You've got an immunocompromised family member, young kids. Bottom line is you are highly unlikely to get a refund for that ticket unless the airline cancels your flight. You should, though, be able to get a credit uh, for that flight and be able to take another one down the road. Savannah? All right, Tom, I'll pick it up there. Tom Costello, Force there at Reagan National. Tom, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.